the Crucible Axe armor set, one of the coolest armor sets I have seen in Elden Ring in my 40 hours of game time so far. You can find it all the way up by the capital city in a place called Ryza Heroes Grave. It's kind of a dungeon area. You're going to have to deal with these, you know, giant rolling horseback things, <laughs> like chariot things that'll kill you in one shot. Luckily enough, it's really not that hard to run past. Like, even right off the rip, you can run down to the kind of medium safety slot here. And as it goes up, I could have run down, but I, you know, I just didn't want to risk it. I think I wanted to look at something really quick. But the rest of the time, you can pretty much just run straight to the boss room so that you can get the armor set. So as soon as he goes up the hill, you can run all the way down. If you go right in between these two pillars, you're going to be completely safe because you're going to have another chariot coming straight down. But you'll be safe right here. And as it's going up, you can just run straight up. It's going to be a close one, but you can make it to this left safety slot here and immediately run to the next area. Now here you're going to have to deal with two chariots, kind of like a puzzle going up and down at the same time. I actually almost got hit there and didn't even pay attention. But there's a safety slot in, the, in between them right here. So the one that was rolling at you up top is going to come down. And you can just really easily avoid it by just going left side here and then go back to the right when the one on the right goes back up. Really not hard. Very, very basic. Uh, the one on the left is probably coming down. I was kind of worried about the one coming up right there. But you're just going to be totally fine in between these two pillars right here with the last chariot that you have to deal with. You can just run over to the safety slot over here on the left and you can just run right past it when it goes by you. So this is the boss room. There are some skeletons in this area. Luckily enough, there's a state of Murakai, Maraca. I just say Maraca because I like saying the word. And the boss room is at the bottom of these stairs. Now, this boss fight is one of the hardest boss fights I've dealt with in this game. It reminds me of Ornstein and Smoke because you have to deal with two Crucible Knights at the same time that have different movesets. I'm going to be showing you guys a lot of the boss fight here because it took me many, many tries to finally beat these two bosses. With the deer antler coat rack guy here, you'll notice that I'm just kind of standing in front of him. I'm not really running in circles. That is where I found the most success isn't running in circles. When you run in circles, they just aggro you. Both of them do at the same time. But when you stand in front of them, one kind of goes off on its own and one attacks and it's pretty easy dodges. You know, I'm, I'm still getting hit because I don't know the, the moveset perfectly at this point, but the movesets that they give you when you just stand in front of them are just much easier to dodge than when you're just running in a circle because they have some seriously long reaches with the weapons that they have. So you just kind of stand in front of them and once you get one of the bosses down to half health they're going to go into phase two both of these bosses have phase twos that's why i try and focus on one so the one i got to half health has a, a hook attack and an aerial attack that will just kind of dodge right at you the hook isn't too bad although if you really don't time it right you can be caught and it is an insta kill if you get caught in that hook grab so at least they're mostly easily dodgeable and then the rest of the attacks are exactly the same along with this aoe laser attack that is extremely easy to dodge so right here i get one of the guys down and then the fight is much easier obviously when there's only one of them to deal with basically this is just a normal crucible night fight that we found uh, up in Limgrave. it's pretty much the exact same fight although there is one extra move this guy has where he'll spin his sword in a really cool way and slam it into the ground. Extremely easy to avoid. This guy's got a wide reach with a shield bash mechanic, a ground punch, earthquake style type deal that you kind of have to dodge late on. That always helped me just knowing, okay, dodge late when I see him lift up his foot. And that helped a lot. So here's the AOE attack. Again, really easy to dodge. There's actually like two effects there that if you linger around or try to dodge in too early after he does it, it, uh, it is still extremely difficult to avoid and you can still get hit by it. Phase two, he's got his tail just like in the normal fight up in Limgrave and he has his aerial attack. Really not too difficult to deal with, especially when there's just one on its own. Once you learn the moveset, not too bad at all. Guys, I really appreciate you watching this video. I really hope it helped. I hope you enjoy the armor set that you'll get when you beat this boss. I'm going to show you my reaction to it and everything. I stream this game every single day for 10 hours a day right now on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Jake. I would love to have you guys there and just talk all things Elden Ring. Have a great day, guys. And enjoy the armor set.
Greed. Yes! Bitch! Oh. Yes! I gotta, I gotta lean back for a second, bro. We got the sword. We got the helmet. We got the armor. We got the gauntlets. We got the greaves. First try, right, guys? <laughs> Yo, Motive, let's go. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Let's go. Oh, we got to take a look at this armor set, huh? Absolutely, we do. This looks real nice. That's clean AF, bro. 